I feel like homeowners always get the short end of the stick when it comes to tools. So today we're going to take a look at a couple of simple electrical testing tools made by Kaiweeds. This little multimeter is the KM201 and this is the HC100S. It is a NCV or a non-contact voltage tester. The first thing I noticed about this meter is how small it is. I can wrap my fingers around, it easily fits inside my palm. It has two test leads that are actually pretty thin compared to my normal ones and they have storage on the back of the multimeter. You can actually take them out. These have tips on them or tip guards which allow you to get in close on electrical components without touching any bare metal. If you have something tight you can get in there and touch anything real close to it without even bumping or grounding out anything like that. It's a situational type of device or you can just take it off and this is what's going to allow you to actually stick into an electrical outlet. This will allow you to get past that base plate and actually touch the prongs or the uh, little clamp pieces on the inside of an outlet to allow that allows you to test it. Now when you want to use it, you just hold down the red button, the power button, it automatically turns it to auto, meaning you can plug it into an outlet, you can test anything electrical, whether it is AC or DC voltage, and it will bring you straight to the correct voltage and tell you exactly what's going on. Or if you try, leave it on auto and you want to find out if you have a uh, bad circuit or anything touching, it's automatically set to continuity from auto. Up here on your F button, this will allow you to cycle through the options. NCV, non-contact voltage. This little terminal up here, this is also an NCV, so instead of using a stick and a meter, this has both of it built in. Quick example, right there. Next up, you have live. Live is a different type of voltage detection. When using live, all you have to do is take your power source, take your red lead, and touch it in. That will let you know if something is hot. You might be wondering, what good is a live feature when I can easily check between neutral and hot? Now, if you have a broken wire and you only see one wire and you wanna know if it's hot and you don't have a neutral to check it to, then you need an NCV or you can use a live feature to touch that. That is one way to do it. There's also one other scenario. Say you have a broken breaker and you wanna know, well, you can easily just use one lead in order to find a broken breaker live. So if I take this and I go to here, I'll just use it like this. If I take this and I go here, I, I know that lug is hot. If I go to this breaker, I'm good. And my lead is, my other lead is on the back. Now this breaker is off. I just found a bad breaker. Technically the breaker is off, but you see what I mean. If this breaker was on, I don't have to take, find my neutral and then take, go to auto. I don't have to take and hold it in order to go one by one, checking voltages. There, I have a brick. It's got, it is convenient. That's for sure. It's just off. Live, loud, live, off. It's pretty cool. Next up you have phase. Phase is going to help you if you need to tell the rotation of a motor. So you have your A, B, and C, go between all three of your leads, and that will allow you to figure out which way you need to go. One more press of the F button, that brings you back to auto. Your third button is H slash flashlight. Hold it down, there's a flashlight on the top. It's pretty handy. Hold it down again, turns it off. Press it one time, you'll see the H pop up at the top, you can remove your leads, and it's going to hold your measurement for you to run off and do whatever you want. Quick note, if you are using this to test the outlets in your house and you have a TR on the actual outlet, you're going to need to put these in at the exact same time to bypass the shutter. Auto feature will of course help you out with AC voltage and continuity, but it will also switch over to DC voltage to help you check, you know, your car's battery or any batteries inside your kids toys. And when you're done and need to store it, hold down the power button, turns it off, Stick the two leads into the back and put it in your drawer for next time. This is the NCV. It is a non-contact voltage stick. All you have to do is press the on button and it will select whatever you had on it last. The last thing I used was 12 volt to 1000 volts. So if we turn that on, 
we can easily sense, because this is my neutral, this is my hot. Once it gets close, it'll tell me that I'm getting close to something that has a live wire on it. Get really close, and it goes nuts. If you press this red button right up here, it will go into low sensitivity mode, 70 volt to 1K. So you need to get a little bit closer with it to actually find out what's going on. Now I personally don't use the low voltage mode. I stick to the 12 volt to 1K volt. That is gonna take care of everything that I need. Now this thing does have a flashlight on the top. Hold down the button under the power and you can use a flashlight. It's pretty nice, especially if you're in somewhere dark, like an attic, and you're using this thing to try and find something, it will help you. A cool use of these non-contact voltage detectors, you can find broken wires, or you can at least determine if you come across a broken wire, which one's hot and which one's not, especially if you're not familiar. This one right here, you have a ground which is covered up. We're not even gonna worry about that. We have the neutral, we have a red, and we have a black. Right now, I have the black and the neutral hooked up, so let's test it and see what we get. Neutral, nothing. Black, something. Red, something is leaking inside of this cord. Right now, I know that my red and my black have power, and if you come across something like this in your attic, more than likely, it's gonna be on a fan and you're gonna have power going to light and you're gonna have red going to fan, dual switches down in a wall, super simple design. You're never gonna really hit on the neutral, but you can pro most likely, probably hit on these two. When it has power, it'll let you know. If it doesn't have power, you're good to go. If you have a question about these tools, then leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to get you the best answer possible. If you need a link for these, they'll be in the description down below and y'all have a great day.